The Tom Lantos Institute commissioned a study to examine the prevalence, intensity and causes of anti-Jewish prejudice in the Visegrad countries, Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland and Slovakia. In June 2021, over 2,000 adults per country were surveyed online. The survey assessed the cognitive, behavioural and emotional aspects of anti-Semitic prejudice. The results indicate that in the four countries in question, between 39% and 51% of respondents held anti-Semitic views associated with religious anti-Judaism. In the various Visegrad countries, between 53% and 71% of the respondents believed in conspiracy theories about Jews, such as the existence of a secret Jewish network that influences global politics and the economy. In the four countries we investigated, between 28% and 47% of respondents stated that they were willing to accept discrimination against Jews. Across the Visegrad countries, between 22% and 25% of respondents expressed negative feelings towards Jews. Based on the data on the cognitive, behavioural and emotional aspects of anti-Semitic prejudice, 6% to 16% of respondents can be classified as strongly anti-Semitic to 20% as moderately anti-Semitic. Survey questions examined anti-Semitic prejudice expressed in opinions about the Holocaust and Israel. Nearly 40% of the Czech respondents and around 50% of the Slovakian, Polish and Hungarian respondents denied or revitalized the importance of the Holocaust and Holocaust remembrance. 52% of Czech, 49% of Hungarian, 71% of Polish and 58% of Slovakian respondents expressed hostility towards Israel. To identify what triggers anti-Semitic prejudice, the following factors were examined. Gender, age, educational level, settlement size, socio-economic status, religiousness, law and order conservatism, political orientation, general prejudice, and nationalist and populist attitudes. General prejudice and populist attitudes characterized by anti-elitism, skepticism of parliamentary democracy, and a desire for grassroots decision-making had the strongest impact on whether someone was anti-Semitic. Nationalistic respondents were more likely to be anti-Semitic since they were also more populist. Demographic and socio-economic factors had only a weak effect. Respondents' perception that their nation was a unique victim of history or had suffered as much as Jews during World War II correlated with anti-Semitism and Holocaust distortion. Respondents' views of how their societies treated Jews during the Holocaust also correlated with anti-Semitism and Holocaust distortion with significant country-level differences. Those Czechs who believed that their society treated Jews negatively were more likely to be anti-Semitic or to distort the Holocaust. In contrast, those Hungarians who believed that their society treated Jews positively were more likely to be anti-Semitic or to distort the Holocaust. In Poland, both positive and negative perceptions correlated with stronger anti-Semitism. While in Slovakia, these factors did not correlate with anti-Semitic views. Based on the survey results and input from country policy workshops, recommendations to combat anti-Semitism in the Visegrad countries were developed in three policy areas. Equality, education and remembrance.